let's take a look at classical theories of gender in the workplace. Different theories of gender segregation explain the reasons for gender inequality at work. Marxist theories argue that women can enter into paid jobs when there is a shortage of male labor, but they're also expected to leave formal employment when they're no longer required. Marxist theorists demonstrate how gender inequalities are exploited by capitalists to achieve the greater economic advantage. Marxist feminism seeks to dismantle capitalism in order to achieve women's liberation. This analysis has been challenged by some feminist scholars who argue for a holistic approach towards gender inequality, such as social, cultural, religious, and economic factors. Historically, radical feminism started in the 1970s with the assumption that men have power over women and that society and its various social relationships can be best understood in terms of their relationship to that situation. Radical feminists consider the concept of patriarchy as the basis of oppression in employment. Today, patriarchy refers to the systems and structures that accommodate the power of men over women. A new theory endeavors to explain the dual role of the capitalist system and patriarchy in producing and sustaining gender segregation in the labor force. Dual systems theory has been criticized by post-structuralists who argue that structural theories ignore the diverse experiences of women and men at work. Feminist post-structuralism looks at philosophically the ways in which men and women are treated in the world and attempts to break down barriers by identifying how societal influences have led to the status quo. They argue that depending on who controls the dominant discourses of representation, women and men can be included or excluded from employment and other societal contexts. Human capital theorists argue that because of the traditional gender division of labor involving women's engagement with house chores and rearing children, they have fewer skills and less labor market experience than men. According to this perspective, human capital decreases when the worker is out of the labor market for some time, which results in low wages on re-entry. Human capital theory faces much criticism from sociologists. Employment rewards cannot be solely determined by labor demand and supply, and women who are equal with men in terms of human capital still do not enjoy the same high income. Career imbalance starts between male and female graduates with more or less the same qualifications. 